everybody. This is Ms. Hamilton. I am going to work through this math lesson with you. We're in the chapter topic three, lesson two. We're going to work on adding tens and ones on an open number line. Now an open number line is just a line without any numbers on it. So we can turn this number line into any number line in the world. This question says, how can you use the open number line to find 35 plus 24? And then we're going to write an equation to show the sum. Remember, the sum is the answer. And we're going to explain our work. Okay? Our first step, when we add, it's often easier to start with the, greater, the greatest add-end. So 35 and 24, which one of those is the greatest? 35 is greatest. Okay? So when we add, we're going to move this way on the number line. Our numbers are going to get bigger. So we need to start over here on the left side. 35. Okay, now we need to add 24. Our second step, we're going to make a hundreds, tens, ones chart, or in this, this case, we only have tens and ones. So make a tens and ones chart, and we're going to fill in 24. 24 has two tens, four ones. Okay, our third step is going to be to add this many tens. So 35 plus a 10 would take us to 45. And then we've got to add another 10. So 45 plus another 10 is 55. We're going up one in that tens place each time. Okay, now we need to add four ones. I'm going to add four tally marks. One, two, three, four. Each one of those is going to be plus one. So 55. One more is 56. 57. 58. 59. So our sum is 59. If we write an equation, we started with 35, and we added two tens and four ones, which is 24. And our sum was 59. Okay, and we can explain our work, really our, our work right here explains itself. We could say, I added two tens and what else? Four ones to 35. All right, that's not too bad, right? Let's keep going. All right, this one says find 48 plus 23 using an open number line. So they started with 48 over here on the left side because 48 is the greater add end. Then, if we did a tens and ones chart, put in 23, two tens, three ones, they added 10, and then they added another 10. So go 48 to 58, 58 to 68. And then they added three ones. One, two, three. This was 69, 70, and 71. So the sum is 71. This equation is 48 plus 23 equals 71. Over here, they're going to show you another way where they put these two together. 48 plus two tens in one jump takes you to 68. And then, this is interesting, they added two and then one. 68 plus two takes you to 70. That's interesting. So they made a 10. And then 70 plus one more makes 71. Either way, we're adding 20, 22, 23, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So you can break it up all sorts of different ways. Can you explain how you can use an open number line to find 56 plus 35? I'm going to work it out for you. You see if you can explain it. Okay, step one. 
we find my greatest add end. It's 56. I need to draw my open number line. One of the reasons this is such a great strategy is everyone can draw an open number line. It's just a line with arrows on it. Okay, where does the 56 go? It goes on the left because we're adding. 56 plus 35. All right, step two is going to be to make a tens and ones chart. And then we're going to go three jumps of 10. Two, three, and we're going to do five jumps of one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's figure out what these numbers are. 56 plus one more, 10. The five tens, we're going to now have six tens. We have six tens and we get another 10. That's going to take us to 76 plus another 10 is 86. All right, and we can add one. We don't have to fill in all these numbers. I'm going to do it to show you, but when you're writing this, if, you, if your numbers get all squished together, you're welcome to count and just put your answer at the end. So 87, 88, 89, what's next? 90 and 91. So we added from 56, we moved three jumps of 10, we added three tens, and then we added five ones. And it took us to our sum, which is 91. Our equation is 56 plus however many we went to the right on the number line, which for this is 35. And where we ended up is our answer or our sum, 91. All right, let's do our guided practice together. The directions say, use an open number line to find each sum. The first one has worked for us. So we're doing 59 plus 24. We've got 59, it's the greater add end. It's already on our number line. And 24 has two tens, four ones. We've used that number several times today or something similar. 59 plus 20. They broke it up. They, they just did all of the tens at one time. Plus one plus three. One plus three, that's four. So 24. 79 plus one is 80. Plus three more is 83. 83. And number two is here for us to do independently or as a team since we're doing it together. 47 plus 25. We're going to circle the greater number. Start with 47 on our number, li number line. And then I'm going to make my place value chart. Two tens, five ones. 47 plus 10 plus 10. And then plus one, we're going to do it five times. Just enough room. Now, when I draw this out, the adding one should be much smaller than adding 10, but I need the space to write. So mine are going to be really spread out, and I know that that's not how a normal number line would look. So 47 plus 10 would take that 4 to a 5. 57 plus 10, we're going to go up a 10 to oh, not 68. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. 67. All right, now we're going to go up in the ones place. So 7 goes to 8, 68, 69, 70, good, 71, 72. Did you guys get 72 also? All right, 
Let's look at the rest of the page and make sure we understand the directions before we get started. Okay, number three, four, five, and six, you're gonna do just like we did together on number one and two. You're gonna use an open number line to find each sum. For number seven, you're gonna decide if this is correct. 55 plus 28. Now I notice that we've got some subtraction in here. So you look at that and see if you can understand what Matt did and if his work is correct. So it looks like instead of adding 28, he added three tens and then went backwards too. That's interesting. Let's see what you think about that. Be sure to write it in this box. All right. This is where we're going to crank our brain up a little bit and think about these problems. It says use an open number line to solve each problem below. There are 24 apples in a basket. There are 19 apples on a tray. How many apples are there in all? Is that a combining or a taking apart, taking away problem, or are we comparing? How many in all? That means we're putting them together. We're putting apples in a basket and apples in a tray together and counting all of them. Okay, so you work on that one. Number nine says, Jamie has 27 more berries than Lisa. Lisa has 37 berries. How many berries does Jamie have? Now that kind of sounds like a comparing problem, which normally is a subtraction problem. But Jamie has 27 more than Lisa. So let's say these are Lisa's berries. They're in this basket. It's not a very good basket. And we don't know how many are in there. This is Lisa's. Jamie has what Lisa has plus 27 more. And that's what's in Jamie's basket. Okay. So if we start here, do you think you could figure this one out? I know that you can. Number 10. Use two different number lines to show that 34 plus 23 has the same value as 23 plus 34. I believe that on this one, they want you to see, to start with 34 and add 23. And down here, let's start with 23, which is not normally what we do, and add 34. But they should have the same sum because when we add and we rearrange the digits, the sum stays the same. All right, number 11, use the numbers on the cards. Write the missing numbers under the number line to show how to find the sum. Ooh. Well, we know the sum is gonna have to be the greatest of these numbers, right? Use that as a starting spot. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you understand what to do on this lesson and that you have uh, no trouble working on it, but please give us an email or a message or raise your hand if you have any questions. Bye guys.